Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Simpsons Hit and Run. And, uh, we are about to, uh, um, well, actually, uh, what do we got here? Um, we still need a collector card. So, we are about to go get our last collector card. Um, and then we'll be starting some missions and stuff, of course. Now? So, Please? actually, the irony is that um, in the last Let's video, the when I said I wasn't going to go down the well at Camp Krusty, if I had done that, it would have taken me directly to the collector card before. So, that's the way the world works, I guess. So, up and over. And, uh, actually, that probably is the quicker way of getting there. So, we'll just go into Camp Krusty and go down the well and be in our collector card, and then we'll be ready to do other stuff. So. There we go. And downward, alright. And it's right over here. I found it in my practice file, I just forgot about it. So there you go. Alright, Gabo doll. Collect more. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Uh, onward. I guess we can just kind of grab a car. So. I'm sure there's a phone booth around here, but who cares? Out of the way, wannabe! Yay! Out of the way, wannabe. Jerks. All of you jerks. Oh my god. Oh, that guy's dead. That guy is so dead. Actually. It's time yeah. for some road. You know what? Bart Simpson style. Here we go. Eat asphalt, asphalt yeah, eaters. Yeah, eat some asphalt. That should do it, right? Eat asphalt, like... asphalt eaters. Yeah, there we go. Loser. Oh, how cool is that? Oh my god, look what that did to our hit and run thing. That completely counted towards us hitting it. We can't get those coins either. That kind of that's kind of a shame that we took the blame for that but didn't get the prizes. Whatever. That's life for you. That's a metaphor for life. This this entire game. Move it or lose it, tool. Not the detailing. There's a line in the movie uh the the movie Labyrinth and David Bowie um is talking to Jennifer Connolly and she says to him that uh he changes the rules of this contest that she's in and he and she says it's not fair and he keeps and he just looks at her and goes you keep saying that, he's like, I'm beginning to wonder what your basis of comparison is. And I always kind of like that, the idea that, like, people say life is, like, that's not fair, and it's just like, as opposed to what? As opposed to the other thing? Like, especially when it concerns kind of life stuff, you know? Like... You know, because, I mean, like, yeah, things might not be fair, but they are what they are. I mean, it's... I know, I'm, I don't mean to sound all... I don't mean to get all serious and all depressing and stuff, it's just like... Um, anyway, I just, just, I don't know where I was going with that, I just, I just like that, I just think it's the perfect comeback, and, uh, it's, it's really funny, because I'm, like, the movie is all about her kind of changing from a, you know, a pouty, whiny girl who doesn't appreciate her family to somebody who's far more adult, um, and has kind of learned, uh, that, uh, oh, you know, we're gonna go to the, um, uh, we're gonna go to the studio, I'm sorry, like, uh, I meant to do this. We're gonna go to the studio and pick up yeah! all of the money crates and stuff in that back room, because we forgot to do that, and then I'm gonna buy an outfit for Bart. I mean, we don't need an outfit for Bart for this level, but I'm gonna buy an outfit just so we can see kind of an alternate Bart, and, uh, and because one of the missions in this game is going to caused me a bunch of hit and runs as I attempt it over and over and over again. So the less money I have, the less money I can lose. Because so, I've learned that, that if you spend the money in this game, the hit and runs don't hurt you as much. Because, love handles. You know, then at least you have the item and you're not... Because you, you really, you can't, you can't lose the $50 fine if you don't pay $50, you know. As far as the game goes. So we'll see how much we get from these. But yeah, I completely forgot to get these. I didn't forget to get these in my practice file, so when I realized I had forgotten to get them in this one, I thought I'd forgotten to get them in my practice file, and I thought I was gonna go get all this money, and like, that, no. I, apparently, my practice file, I took care of this. 
<gasps> so anyway, so how's everybody doing? Oh, we're fine! We're fine! Alright. Um, I don't know why I gave you guys a weird accent that time. Um, I don't really imagine you having weird accents. Um, except for the people who are watching in foreign countries, and I uh, assume that your English has an accent. When I was working in Texas, Just they told me I had an accent, and I was like, oh, because up here in Wisconsin, I, I don't. And, you know, in Texas, they didn't seem to have accents, but they thought I had an accent. Especially when I said Wisconsin, because it's like, I, I say Wisconsin. Oh, and by the way, um, you can, like, by selecting the mission that you're on, obviously it'll just reload and take you to where that mission starts. So, um... Sorry, I was just wondering if you could kick that. So, um, we're gonna buy our outfit, and uh, so it's just a good, you know, it's just something to keep in mind. But you don't have to necessarily. Well, we can buy Bart Cadet or Bart Hugo. I'd really like to buy Bartman because that's kind of the coolest outfit. Um, but I guess if we're gonna have to pick between Cadet and Hugo, we're gonna go with Hugo because at least Hugo looks goofy. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry, I was briefly considering going out and trying to grind for coins, but, you know, it's just not worth it. So we'll just buy this. So anyway, um, sorry, we're really not getting anything done. We're like six minutes into this video, we haven't done anything. Uh, well, we got a collector card. Um, what was I saying? I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh my god. Oh yeah, you can start away, so you can warp to where you need to go for the next mission, which it's helpful. It's just something to keep in mind. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot speak English. I only speak Hindi. <laughs> so this is really weird that they. Uh, yes, I learned these words phonetically. <laughs> this is really weird that they like. The space monsters. Um, up down, up down, uh, you know, like. On, my undershirt, I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. This is really weird that they make you talk to a poos who can tell you that you can't do anything, so then you have to go talk to Otto. It's so strange. Auto man, I, I, makes no sense. No can do, I guess they felt they had to wrap up the relationship between Bart and Apu from the last, you know, the last level. Okay. Right after I drop these kids off at Krusty Lou. Otto, I just said that. All right, stop hassling me. Nice. Midget Abraham Lincoln. Nice. All right, so here's our first um, level mission, and uh, all we have Bart to do Simpson is get to Krusty Lou Studios in the time provided while picking up these 15 kits. So, uh, and this is not as hard as it seems like it would be, because, like, Krusty Lou Studios seems like it would be, like, kind of forever away from here, but it's not. I mean, uh, so you can do this pretty easily. You actually just kind of take your time. You can be a little careful. Far out. Yeah, that is, like, that is actually kind of far out, but we just flipped the bus and flipped it back on its wheels. Um, hey, no it's so funny how, how hard that was to do and to learn how to do in Vice City when I was LPing that, and then, like, to play a game where you can't put the cars over, it just, I don't know, it's a little disconcerting. Ow, my skull. My beautiful oh, nice, skull. we completely just, oh, that's so glitchy, that's great. Um, I hate that bullorama thing, by the way, that's caused me nothing but heartache. And why there's a kid on the top of this ramp, I will never know. Alright. Nice, all those kids are yeah, dead now. Awesome. This game, I tell ya. So, uh, this is another, any mission that takes you through the squid port, which in this level, unlike the least level when you're doing this, a lot of the missions take us through the squid port. You, you're in pretty big danger of getting a hit and run, because okay. people get stuck under your wheels and, and it counts, like, hit, it counts as hitting them, like, eight times. Also, I think, in the later levels, it's easier, like, that the bar goes faster. And stuff. So you, we've got all the kids, and we got 20 seconds to get that crusty new studios, which is going to be a tight squeeze as far as time goes. But it's not possible. It's not enough to. It's not. That's not. Un, it's not going to be close enough that we have to really rush it. See, there we go. We only five minutes, seconds to spare. Perfection. Thy name is Bart. Yeah, actually, good point. We did that about perfectly. I mean, first try and stuff. So. So now we gotta talk to Barney, and uh, he'll give us our, our next mission. Which, um, Barney, where's we'll be chasing Krusty around, I believe. Krusty's not here, little Homer. He's down at the Aww, port, little Homer. doing a promo for this new Buzz Cola. But that's the cola the aliens are using to control all human nice. behavior. Control human behavior? No beverage could do that. Oh no, 
I haven't had a duff in two hours. My life is over. I think that that joke is a little on the nose, don't you? I mean, like, it's a little too obvious to that, like, oh, I haven't had a duff in two hours. My life is over. Sounds like a plan. Oh, that's so awful. That he's like, I'm gonna just stand here and go through the DTs. Oh my god, that's so horrible. Like the DTs for Find alcoholism could kill you. <laughs> so. Anyway, not to, again, this is like one of the most depressing audio commentaries ever that I start talking about how like unfair life is, and then I'm like, alcoholism DTs can kill you. Like, whatever, man. Like, we pushed cars off the cliff, we got a collector card. Like, we're Bart, and like, we're running around, and we're chasing like a clown through town, and that all rhymed, and like, oh, like, this is a good thing. Whoa, look at that! Oh my god, that thing was awesome. That thing, man, that thing can really smash stuff up. That's cool. Is he gonna get this one? Ah, uh, that was disappointing. I was really expecting more explosions. Alright, so that was it. We just had to chase that thing and get to Krusty the limo. And so, um... Oh no, then the, the, now the limo will take off, so now we have to race Krusty's limo. And Krusty's limo's gotta... Oh god, get out of my way! No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you could probably hear my teeth grinding in that one. Oh my god, I have such I have such a problem with driving games. <laughs> Which is amazing. It's amazing that out of like the three LPs I've done, the two of them have been driving games. Um, because I really I'm not a like you are not gonna see me LP like Gran Turismo or Driver or anything like that, because like I don't like driving games. <laughs> I really don't. Um there's a level of things like I get road rage really bad. And we talked I talked about that, the Grand Ooh, Theft Auto one. one, but like I get road rage really bad like driving games. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just not healthy for me, like, You're um, online. <laughs> yeah. oh, we needed that repair wrench really badly. Where's that, where's Krusty's car? Oh, it fell off the edge of the ramp and glitched out. Oh, that's so cool. The computer screwed itself over. But we're going to have to end it there, so, um, I'll talk to you guys later, and, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, see you next time. Bye.